if you all are wondering what that is, um, that's not me doing that. That's someone else uh, messing around with my phone, apparently. Um, as you can see. The only thing, I'm scrolling up and down, but you can see a lot of the the other stuff messing around with the phone. So there's someone hacking this device. I'm just uh, jotting this down as evidence. Now, you see, now I pushed it. But that outer wide circle thing, that's someone hacking this device, okay? That's what that is. They're starting to do that because they don't want people knowing the actual cure for this BS that they're pulling and um, I'm going to do the best I can to keep exposing it for what it is. Now you see how they stopped? I'm going to show you again. That's what it does when I push it. You'll see the four icons. But that white, that white uh, circle there, that was them. That's someone hacking this device, man. And I'll even go over here to where, uh, hang on, where is it, okay. As you can see, the logs, that's my evidence that this hack, that this device is being hacked due to me, uh, and look at that. They don't want me recording this and getting evidence of what they're doing. They don't want to be exposed. They don't want, uh, people to be informed about any of this shit, man. They don't. This is why they're so desperate for, uh, hot, for just to, to, you know, to just from preventing people from being able to report the hell out of them. From people being able to expose them for what they're doing. Here's my advice to all TIs out there, okay? Do not respond to these robots, them perps. Don't. I kind of knew... That they had a few of these uh, weirdos on the social media on PSN, PlayStation Network, and I was gonna ro I'm rooting them out even now as we speak, and I just let I simply just let them expose themselves due to their odd behavior, you know. I don't just immediately assume someone's a perp. I let them expose themselves due to their weird behavior, and they will just so happen to do that, you know. It's a um, it's a crazy concept we're dealing with the, uh, uh, in these times, man. It really is. Uh, for one thing, um, let me go back. Those are just the logs right there. Open app detail. Yep, deny any access. Now, I'm not even I'm not even using Google Play Music. I didn't I, I I don't even use that. Okay, I never even touched or opened that. Well, the apps can I find that I didn't? And there it is again, Google Play Music. I didn't open that. They could be also doing this for reactions, so I need to be careful. But this is just me doing a narration. But um. You need to understand, when it comes to these perps, don't react to them at all. Don't. That's how the technology works. It works based off your reaction. People try to, if these perps try to talk to you, they try to say anything to you, just ignore them. Go on about your way. If they are too persistent, well, that turns that turns from a friendly gesture into harassment. And then you can turn the tables on them with that. So, you see, they don't want it to turn into that. But, you know, with their persistence... It actually turn it actually makes that into harassment. The fact that you're not talking to them, you, I mean, you, you're not obligated to. You don't have to. You don't owe them shit. So, that's just to give you a better understanding. Like the more and more they keep pushing for that, the more and more, that's you know showing out as uh, harassment from you know from them. Because first off, you don't ever, ever shake the hand of a perp, okay? Don't. 
Um, I'm beginning to think that they are desperately trying to uh, use this weapon to manipulate me into touching several different objects. They'll like come up with the uh, sorry ass excuses for it. You know, they seem to be doing that a lot. And um, I keep uh, detoxing my hands as a protocol for that. Uh, I've already jotted down and actually got evidence of things that I purchased. I do this for everything, you know, because it's supposed to be a secure building. They ain't got, there should be no reason for nobody coming up in here doing that sort of thing, right? And they know that if they pull that shit, I'm just going to get the locks changed. Now, if I do that and they do it again... Well, there's my evidence because at that point I'll have all that I need to know that it wasn't me letting them in. And what I mean by that is I'll have my evidence that there was someone who did have keys to here that let them in here is what I'm getting at. But it wasn't me. Now, here when, he, when you're going out about your day, this is the type of... Uh, this is how you need to look at the situation because this is precisely what it is. What it, uh, what it is. These perps, okay? These perps are robots, man. They are robots. They are... Whatever true self they had long ago was a long since been stripped away from them due to this manipulation and brainwashing. They are... They most likely are victims of this without even realizing it. But they are too far gone. They have sub submitted into this subconscious, uh, this uh, false subconscious, to where they believe it's it's actually their own, but it's not. That's just how bad it is. So you need to take the uh, you need to step up and start protecting yourself by not responding to them. Don't talk to them. Don't worry about them. If you have to talk to them, make sure it's absolutely necessary that it's an unavoidable situation. If you don't know them, they're just a random individual out there just, you know, who, who really, you, do, you don't even have any obligation to talk to at all. Even if it's a freaking co-worker and you don't have to really work with other co-workers, that's fine. You don't have to say shit to them either. You can just keep to yourself. And if they ask you why, well, I mean, in my opinion, uh, clearly people don't get along with me, so I just keep to myself. And guess what? That's me exercising my situation to, uh, you know, basically cool down the conflict. So there won't be any conflict. So I just keep to, so do I go to bother them? No, I keep to myself. Well, no matter where I go, no matter where I'm sitting at, I keep to myself. That's my motto. They can't fuck with me because of that, but they, but they do try. And I find it uh, very ironic how, like, uh, and I'm telling you, like, every, like, here's how you can tell the situation is, and by the way, you can see the levels as to which this stuff is being used. It wasn't until I started talking that, uh, that, uh, that, that started the show. Now, before then, it was just a straight line. This letting you know, this, uh, these, uh, squiggle lines here, uh, around the dynamic data indicator. That's showing the vibrate. That's showing the stuff that's, um, you know, the directed energy weapons that are even being used on me to this to this very moment. They're small. They're small right now, but they go down and then they rise up a bit. So they're like slightly adjusting this weapon even now as I speak. I understand that they use, um. Your reactions, they use your speech and everything like that. You need to learn how to not react to anything. And what I mean by anything, I'm talking about whether the, the, uh, the colors that they wear. If you see a color that these perps are wearing, just say the opposite color. That screws them over because it, technically no matter what color they use, you could just say a completely different one and it fucks with the supercomputer. You can keep effing with it just that, just like that. They they keep throwing uh these if they throw the multi colors at you just boom just go ahead and announce a completely different color that's you know that's not present. And doing so right, doing so, I don't believe that these perps get paid if they don't get a reaction. If they take your picture, don't react. 
You want to know? I mean, I mean, here's the deal. If you react, right? If you do, then they're still getting that data. Why do you think they smirk and walk off? They're still getting that data because you reacted. That was the one thing that they were after the entire time. That's the one thing that they're getting paid for. You want to know why they get desperate when you don't react? Because they don't get paid. That's why. If there's no data, why the fuck should they have to pay these perps? Which is why they get desperate. Now, here's an update on my situation. Last Monday, um, I test this out. And their shit wasn't working. So much so that they even was talking about this near me. Saying, like, see, they're going to have to do something. He's not reacting. Even now with me saying that, they're probably going to mention it. But you see, it's not going to matter. Because I you see that spike right there? Now, I'm not putting this near anything. I just kept it in the same spot the entire time. But you see the spike levels. The spike level went um, right up, right towards uh, the 50 meter level there. Like right above it. Between both the 50 and the 60. So for now, it's just between the mid 40s and the mid 50s. But this is still not uh, normal levels of, uh, you know, directed uh, of anything right now. Man. It's, not, it's not normal EMF levels at all. Like these, uh, a level this high is not even supposed to be present at all man maybe like small immediate levels of emf like between uh five and one but levels of this high magnitude absolutely not that's why people who are like um you know not involved whenever you mention anything around them like this they turn it off because they don't want you showing them this they don't um even now, I shouldn't even be responding, but I'm st I'm just doing a vid at this point. You need to understand, like, um, when people speak out and they are also being hit with this weapon, understand that they are putting their lives in danger just to get the knowledge out for other people like yourself. If you have not, if you've only recently experienced this, understand that we are putting our lives at risk just by responding and actually, uh, to, you know, to give the information out for you uh, to also protect yourself. For me, I don't even fear death and I love and I actually laugh at deaths in the face. OK, because I know that just about anything that they will desperately use is a key to try to control you. And you need to look at life like that. Like, here's the thing. In the end, we're all going to die, man. All of us are. It's it's apparent. It's, it's an inevitable thing. So to fear it is a very absurd thing. Man. Because when you fear something like that, that's inevitable, that you can't really control. I mean, you can survive for, uh, for, but just for a while, but it's going to happen eventually. You know? So you need to ask yourself, do you want to live whatever time you have left on this earth? Would you want to live that in fear? Or do you want to go ahead and just, you know, Fight the good fight. Try to put a stop to this stupid organization and this demonic uh, discrepancies and all the crap that it's been doing. So, so you need you see that, but now they're doing it from our reaction. So at this point, I'm not even going to react to it. I'm not even going to mention it. They do it again. They do it again. That's just all it is. But this will jot it down. Now. You need to really look at life from that perspective. Don't look at life from a state of fear. Don't look at life from a state of which um, you can't change the situation around. Don't look at it that way. Because that's what they want. They want you to be afraid of death. Why? Because it's not, it's something that they're using to try to gain control over you. They want you to be afraid so that your uh, restraints will be down, you know, will be lowered. So, and they want to use people who are near you, who are close to you in a way, or in a way that they think that they're close to you, as a means of infiltration through your uh, shielding. Infiltration 
through your perimeter so they can find out what they need to know to fuck with you, basically. But you see, I've already since been uh, aware of a lot of stuff that they were going to do. I know what means that they use. They go real, they go far back as much as they can, man. They will use your parents. They will use your parents' parents. They will go very far back. And anybody that you know that you were around or anything like that to basically boost a reaction. People who you've met from the past, if you've seen someone who you've seen from the past long ago, long ago, you need to understand this one thing. That's them pulling these strings for that to happen. And they're doing that to get you to react. It didn't work on me, though. Even me mentioning this, they're probably going to try it again. But I'm not going to give a reaction. No. I don't want. Even if the person pretends to try to know me, I'll just ignore them. And then uh, I'll kindly walk away. Because I know. I know what this weapon is doing. And I, and I now know what it, you know the truth about it. If they don't want others to know. The truth is you can get cured from this. The problem is, is that here's the thing. These nanobots are attracted to themselves, right? So when they've already laced your food with the stuff and you've actually in, uh, digested the stuff, it's in your system now. So once you uh, start doing the protocols to actually getting rid of this stuff and you cut off its proteins, you prevent it from, uh, you prevent it from uh, reproducing. And you, de you know, you detoxify yourself. But uh, there are some um, ingredients that are useful. There are some ingredients that are useful. Such as the, uh, the, yes, the, the uh, no, you know, the acids from the fruit. Those are positive toxins. Because that stuff is not something that it can feed off of. It's unnatural. It's, it's an unnatural substance that wasn't made for it. That's why I listed all the ingredients on the guide channel of which is, you know, good for it. And you want to know why they inheat, when they inheat to ingredients, what happens? I believe that this nanotech, the parasites feed off of those proteins. So when you take away that, you take away the food supply. When you uh, put in, uh, you know, when you go over your body with an electrical magnetic uh, pulse or an EMP, you put a, a more higher charge on that lower charge, and then you immediately fry out the circuitry on it. I'll, I said this once before, and I'm going to say it again. What they did was they took these two videos down, but they waited until, like, I went a little bit, I got a little bit farther into with my channel, right? And they took them down because uh, they just noticed. I'm pointing out again, this channel is not meant for kids. It's not. I don't put content on here for nobody under the age of 18, okay? Nothing here or nothing on my other channel is for kids. It's not for that uh, perspective. But I have methods on this channel for adults to where they can better both themselves and help themselves in this dire situation as well as their own families. So, um, if anything, uh, Ooh, ugh, ugh. It's like 5.41 a.m., so it's like real early. As far as this situation goes, um, I have a few things I need to take care of, but uh, I kind of knew when I jumped back on the uh, PSN social network, I knew that there was going to be perps on there. I knew there were going to be people who I wasn't aware of before who are perps. People who probably weren't even aware of the organization. And then they, you know, they, they went ahead and contacted, you know, those people who just so happened to be on my friends list. Talking about some, hey, if you get involved in this, then we'll pay you such and such. You know? The people who do this, they, um, they're not going to see the light, man. They're not. They're too, 
there's too much of an obsession with themselves in this situation. There's too much of an obsession there, you know? And you need to understand, with these perps, these uh, people who they use, they, there's no lot. The only logic behind their actions is they're just looking out to just get paid. They don't care who gets hurt in the process. They don't care because they don't, they're not going to, they don't see this uh, for what it is. And they don't understand that they're being, they are also being victims of the same thing. Their own judgment is being, uh, is being altered against their own will, but they're too blinded to realize it. The, the exact um, thing that is being, you know, messed with is their greed. They're highly uh being they're highly grateful of this. And um two things as to how I know these perps, they don't know what the hell they're talking about, and they're also poisoning themselves. Number one, one of them I, 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 I'm and I'm sure they saw my channel. They've seen what I've actually revealed here. They drunk they still drunk a soda though. They still drunk a soda. That told me that there is absolutely nothing at all good, com possible, there is no possible pos positive outcome from any of these perps. There's none there. Not anymore. And what was once there has been long gone. It, it, it's been gone for a decade now. And it's been most likely stripped away when they were, you know, went back when they were in their childhood. Because of a lot of the uh, influence to the music industry and all that stuff. Now, I need to basically detach myself from uh, a few of these uh, individuals who are doing this, especially on the PSN network, because I started to understand that a lot of that, uh, that music that's being most, you know, like pushed on the general public, a lot of it that's, uh, you know, basically being altered with the Illuminati has hidden messaging, messaging uh, messages behind it. It's, and the only way you can hear it is if you play the music in reverse. So you need to be careful of uh, what artists you're listening to, man. You need to be careful about that. Um, I have, I, I have, I don't really personally have anything against rap in general, but the commercialized part of rap that they are promoting out there, man, I can't get with that. And let me tell you, and here's the thing. Um, Little uh, uh, one of the artists, uh, you know, one rap artist, for example, Lil Wayne. He said in an interview, and I've seen him. This was him saying this himself. He says, "I, pro you know, I, pro I promote and sell this music, but I never teach this music to my kids. I don't even have them listening to it." These were his exact words, man. That was his exact words. If you're not aware, the music industry is being uh, controlled by this organization. We don't have true, positive, uh, uh, you know, artists out there who are dedicating um, their own independent music out there, on, you know, out on the platform there. They can't because it's being suppressed. Some of them go with the flow and some of them refuse. But uh, some people speak out uh, against this, man. A lot of people in the music industry speak out against this, uh, this, uh, you know, demonic control. A lot of these songs that are being produced are not even, uh, original content. This was created by ghostwriters, man, for a, a hidden purpose of which we don't even, uh, of which we could, could never have understand at a younger age. Why do you think they put so much sex, drugs, and money in music nowadays, man? It's to poison the mind. It's to put you in a situation to where they can have you in a certain type of mindset that's different from your own, the one that you were born with. This is why they try to create the double narrative, the double uh, persona effect. Most people um, nowadays, man, from what I, from the times that I've grown up to now, I've started to see people... Um, it's like they hide behind a mask. It's like they hide behind a mask. And 
I started to realize that people just weren't themselves, which is very, this is one of the reasons why, like, I didn't date very often. And if you're wondering, uh, on my Mischievous M's channel, I do, I do go uh, deeper into the subject, but I'm just doing this for this uh, video, for this channel as well. I started to notice that uh, people were just hiding behind a mask. They were not being their true selves. So this is one of the major reasons why I just did not date very often at all, man. Because it was very, it, it, it was very difficult to find a woman who was, uh, you know, wasn't fake. So the thing you need to understand about this is that, look, man, if I, let's say like I was to go out and date a woman now, right? Let's say I was to go out and do that. Even with being a, even if I wasn't a TI, here's what we, you can see that 60 mark, but, uh, this is just getting the uh, evidence of that anyway. Um, the, uh, thing about this, right? The thing about this is that, look, if I went out there and dated a woman, or just one at random. First off, there's a there's a uh, a 98% chance that she's hiding behind a mask, and why? Because there's so many people doing it. Now, going a bit farther there, um, let's see, going a little bit farther, if she uh. Oh, wow. That is a lot of manipulation there. That is a lot. Okay, um... <sighs> Alright. If I was to just go out and date a random female, I wouldn't be getting to know uh, the true person who she is. Because she's hiding behind a mask. And the person I would have gotten to know is, is someone who was completely not there. A phantom. A figmentation of something that that person is not. And by the time that this person would be comfortable with my presence, the chemistry would be out of whack because I didn't get to know the true, her true self. And the person I did get to know was someone who wasn't real. It's the same thing on a female side, too. On a female's point of view, she would be getting to know someone who wasn't there. She would be, and then as soon as things got comfortable, the person would be, you know, show who they really are, and they're not going to be happy with that. My gang stalkers are, um, compulsive liars, perverted, uh, Homo, uh, there is a, a large percentage of them who are perverted homosexuals and some that are, I'm guessing, who are not, but I don't know, man. They're being paid to do, like, a lot of uh, creepy shit. I'm just gonna, I'm part of my language, but there's no other, appro I don't believe there's any other appropriate way to even address that because um, the way I see it, it's it is definitely gaslighting to its uh, to the max right here uh, to the max here in this situation because they do all of this stuff and they want to try to say that you're a certain type of way but then they want to you know they want to hide evidence of what they're doing to have it not shown then when you when you when it gets to the situation where the police are involved they don't want even they don't even want to look at the evidence on the uh, the you know the videotapes they don't even want to look at them. I mean, you're hired as a, uh, you know, as a, you know, a, a public servant, right? You're not above the law. You, you know, you were hired to enforce it. So when they, you know, when they, uh, they not, they say, no, we don't need to do this. Are you basically announcing your position as a cop? Are you denying to seek justice for a citizen? Because to me, that's what that sounds like, and uh, a person like that's the that's the denial of service right there. So can't they get fired for something like that? Just saying. These uh, certain job positions have gotten and twisted these individuals into a mindset to where they believe they can just do and get away with just about anything that they can. 
but there are protocols put in place that deals with uh, individuals like this, even if they're not police. There was a guy who did a, uh, a, a, a recording video, right? And he was recording, like, were cops um, corrupt or not? Now, what he did was that he went from station to station, and I believe it was, like, either the same state or, di or two different states. I'm not certain. But what he did was uh, he had a hidden body cam on him, and he would actually, it, it, nothing really happened until, like, uh, um, you know, he started going up to the stations. It was nothing about, uh, you know, nothing prior to any of these occurrences happened. But what he would do is that he would go up to the station and he would ask to file a complaint on the police officer, right? This is what he was doing. And the police, a lot of the police officers, like, you know, either whether they were deputies or anything like that, they would freak the hell out. Talking about some, uh, cause they don't even know if it was them or not. Because first off, you're not even obligated to even mention or even say who, who or what the officer's name or badge number is. You you can literally, and you can even take the form to report an officer home. You don't even have to turn it into them. You can just take the damn thing home. It's this is your legal right to do so now. But they would freak out. One of them freaked out so bad that he even uh, arrested the guy. And another cop freaked out so bad to where he even uh, tried to, you know, alter the situation in a fake-like manner. When the guy tried to hand him his license, the cop was just acting, saying, well, like, just hand me, uh, like, literally, uh, show me your license. Hand me your license. The guy had his license out to hand it to the cop, but the cop was pretending like he didn't know what was going on. And he didn't know he was being recorded the entire time. Are they, now, it makes you wonder, when a cop is caught doing that even once, it makes you wonder how often have they been pulling a stunt like that. Because that's not something that you do on a, you know, on a regular basis. Because first off, you're messing with someone's freedom when you do that. That's a cop trying to set someone up. They, uh, they, man, they do a lot of this shit with, they definitely exploit the hell out of the kids. And I'm starting to see how dark this organization start, it actually is, man. Like, they have no boundaries at all. Like, these parents, these perps, they don't give a fuck about their kids, dude. They don't give a damn about where their kids end up, whether in the casket, mental institution, or in prison. They don't care. They really don't. Because they're exposing them to this danger. Just assuming that nothing's going to happen. Dude, people are being attacked with nanotechnology. Okay? We're being attacked with the smart dust. We're being attacked with the uh, the vape trails. Every day it's, the, it's, it's, a, it, it's terrorism on a high, high end scale. When we walk out, we're already being terror, ter uh, terror, terror, um, you know, tortured with this stuff. But now, I'm, from what I'm seeing, from what my point of view is seeing, right? What I'm seeing is, uh, basically, the scale, the scale is starting to tip in our favor. Whether you realize it or not, that's what I'm starting to notice. People are finding cures to this. People are starting to actually speak out more about this. People are finding ways to test for this. People are finding more and more and more ways to basically expose this for what it is. But you see, the whole thing that they were piggybacking this entire time was the fact that it was something that was just not as believable because there wasn't much knowledge to know about it. There wasn't a way to prove it. But now we got a way to cure this shit, and now we got a way to test for it. You know? And um, to everybody, look, the reason why they didn't want you seeing those last two vids that I made is because, yes, the colloidal silver and all that stuff works, but you need to basically kill the stuff off at the source, and that's where the uh, electrical EMP currents come in. The electrical... Ooh, excuse me, the electrical magnetic generator. That's what that's what works, man. Doing that along with the detoxing, 
we, we'll cure this for you after a while. But the best thing for you to use is something with a um a controlled high and uh, electrical magnetic field, an EMP. That's why the acupuncture pin comes in handy for that. But uh, not just it's not just that, but you also need to uh, have the uh, magnets on you too, because the magnets that that also works well as as well, man. Um, it's almost like six in the morning. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. But this is just this is one of my uh, you know morning rants to, uh, for the day. Not really gonna go too far into it, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna end it there. Anyway, this is MM's TGI Strategy Guide. I'm over and out.